Hi everyone. So today I am going to show you as a continuation of my previous video how to do this uh, cross validation using only uh, two lines of course for random forest algorithm. So in my previous video, I have showed you how to do this uh, random uh, hyperparameter search for lasso logistic regression. So in that case, I have used um, grid search. So it is a systematic search. But in this video for a random forest, I am going to show you how to do uh, do this uh, hyperparameter search using a uh, another technique called this random search. So in this uh, random forest algorithm, there are basically two types of parameters. The first uh, type of parameter is m try. m try means the uh, number of variables that is uh, randomly collected at each split time. So this parameter will be a hyperparameter based on this uh, carrot package. And the other one which is called as uh, n tree. It is basically a number of trees that uh, you are going to grow in this random forest. So in order to do this uh, hyper, uh, hyper, uh, hyper parameter search based on a random search, what you have to do is first you have to type uh, a search equals a random inside this uh, trend control function. Then after that, you can define your what? A trade function like this. So in this video I am going to do another slight modification for this uh, trend control function. So in my previous video I showed you how to do fivefold cross validation. So in this video I am going to show you how to do this uh, repeated uh, cross validation. So in this case I am going to do a fivefold repeated cross validation. So, if you are going to do this uh, repeated cross validation, then you have to choose this uh, method as repeated CV like this. After that, uh, since I am going to do a uh, fivefold, you have to uh, choose this number equals five. Then, inside this uh, uh, repeats parameter, you have to specify uh, how many times that you are going to repeat this. So I'm going to run this code. Then inside this uh, train function as I did previously in my uh, previous video you should define your uh, model. So first you have to define your linear model like this. Uh, since I'm going to use all other variables as my independent variables except id in that case i can define my model like this where this class is my response variable and this is the data set that i'm going to use after that i'm going to choose a method as rf and uh, as my trend control object i'm going to choose this object after that, since I'm going to do a random search for this hyperparameter tuning, I'm going to choose tune length equals 10. And number of trees that I'm going to grow is a thousand trees. So I'm going to run this code also. So, so since you have done a repeated cross validation, uh, sometimes it may take some time to run this code and after you run that uh, if you run uh, this line of code model rf model fit rf uh, dollar best tune then you will see the uh, optimal hyperparameter that will um, that has the most accuracy based on repeated uh, five fall validation so in this carrot package uh, they will give you a nice thing also that is um, they will give you this uh, variable importance plot for each and every machine learning algorithm so if you want to have this variable importance plot what you have to do is first 
you have to use this awa imp function like this and inside this you need to uh, specify the object that you need to have this uh, variable importance plot then uh, you need to plot this using this a plot function and uh, if you want you can uh, scale this or else if you can uh, uh, say that a scale equals flow uh, false like this so if you run this before that you need to adjust the screen like this and if you run this you can see the variable importance plot like this for uh, five for cross validation so you can see that basically these uh, cell size and uh, cell shape are the most important uh, variables based on this uh, data set and you can see that these uh, third variable also have uh, some kind of importance but uh, basically these uh, first two variables has the most importance based on this set of variables so then i'm going to show you uh, how to do this uh, or how to obtain this a uh, confusion matrix uh, like i uh, told you in my previous video uh, for this a uh, random forest so in uh, here also what you have to do is uh, you need to first uh, get a, uh, get a, a subset of these uh, predicted values based on this optimal hyperparameter so here the hyperparameter is m try so you can obtain a subset based on this optimal hyperparameter based on this uh, subset function like this then based on this uh, confusion matrix uh, function in this uh, carrot package you can um, obtain this confusion matrix based on this table function where you need to specify the uh, predicted values and observed values inside this uh, table function like this so if you run these two codes you can see that based on uh, five fall uh, repeated cross validation the accuracy is about 0.9614 and you can have these all other additional uh, statistics also for an example here this a kappa value is equals to 0 0.9192 and the uh, sensitivity is equals to 0 0.97 and specificity is equals to 0.95 all right so this is how you can use this uh, carrot package to uh, train a random first algorithm so in my next video, I'm going to show you how to do this for another important machine learning algorithm, which is called a support vector machine. Thank you.